The stage display allows you to display lyrics and information to people on your stage without having to have two different computers running text just for the stage or just for your audience. Now this is a really, really handy feature. Now there's a couple things to take into consideration. You actually have to have a third display output. Most computers only come with one output besides their normal monitor on their desk, and we use that output for the screens that the audience sees, so you need a third output. Now in the Renewed Vision Store, they actually sell a USB device that can give you that third output, and it's for under $100, so it's very inexpensive to get this up and running. The other thing is if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can actually download the Stage Display app, which allows you to run the Stage Display from those devices. And you can not only run it on those devices screens but you can also take advantage of the video output of those devices to run a display like a HD TV so you can hook up your phone or the iPad to a TV set and have it run those devices for you wirelessly which is a really really awesome feature so let's check out how stage display works so here you can see our regular song, and again, this is what's projecting on our uh, regular screen, but now let's take a look at what the stage display would look like. So we're gonna go to Window, and we're gonna do Configure Stage Display. Now this is gonna pull up all of our options. I'm just gonna move this over so we can see it a little bit better. Um, and as you can see here, uh, we have a few different things going on. So this is what we can configure, and this is what it looks like. So we have a clock, we have our current slide, our next slide, we have slide notes, we have a lapse time, our countdown clocks, and a message. And again, we can alter all of this right here. So in here, we can um, use these checkboxes to enable and disable different features from this layout. We can also go in and we can do a text only version. So if I hit this, it's not gonna use um, the formatting of the slide, it's just going to use text only, and we can actually alter the way this looks. So we can do center formatting, left formatting, right formatting, I like center. 60s may be a little bit big, so we'll do 40 point. And you can see we have nice large text there. We're gonna do the same for our next slide. Maybe put this at 30 point, and again, center this. Um, so that we can see what's coming next. And we can also change the color of this. So maybe we wanna put our next slide in like a yellow so that we know it's not our current slide, but it's what's coming next. Moving on down, we can actually enable chord charts and I'll show you that in just a minute. We also have our clock here. Again, we can change the color of all of these things and we have a video countdown. Now when we enable this, it's gonna bring up this video counter. I'll move this up here into the center. And what this is showing is how much time is left from foreground videos, like mini movies that are playing, so someone on our stage can know how much time they have until they need to do the next thing, which comes in very handy. And again, you can change the color of that. We also have our time elapsed clock, our countdown clocks. We can show a negative color, so if we go past our countdown time, we can put a negative color there, and we can change that color. And then we have our message area, and we can enable and disable flashing, so when we put a message up, it will flash to get people on the stage's attention, and we can change that color. And then we can also show and hide labels. So we'll leave all of that on there so people know what they're looking at. Now if we go to the chord chart, what you'll see in here is we have a totally different layout. We can save multiple layouts, and in this layout in particular, we have a chord chart enabled. All we have to do to get a chord chart for a song is go to the editor and attach a chord chart in the settings. So I've already done that, and you can see our chord chart here, and you can see I've just done a simple layout where we have the current um, slides lyrics, we have the next slide that's coming up, we have our message area, and we have our clock, and then I've put a nice big chord chart in here. And I'm using the Planning Center Online chord charts, which work great for this feature. So we're gonna go back to our default one, and I'm gonna close this out. So now let's look at how to send a message to our stage display, because often we wanna send messages or things like, hey, move into the light, or wrap it up, or um, stretch time, which that never happens in churches. But um, how to do that is you're gonna go to view, and you're gonna go to stage display message. And in here, we can put in a message like hello stage and we can hit send message. So now if I preview our stage display, you'll see it's flashing down here, hello stage. And we can hit hide, it will hide that, or we can say move to center 
and we can hit send message and again it will send that message up to the stage display and flash on the screen for a moment. So this comes in handy and can help you communicate with the stage without having to talk into their monitors or wave your hands in the back of the room. So I'm going to close this out and hide our stage display. The last thing is, again, if we go to Window, Configure Stage Display, like I was saying, we can add in multiple displays here. Well, I'm going to add in one more display, and we're just going to double-click there and call this iPad, because, again, we can use our iPad as a um, display, but our iPad's got a little bit different of a configuration. We don't have as much display space, so all I'm going to do is my current slide, and I'm going to do text only, and we're going to say centered and we're going to do maybe 60 point and then we're going to do our next slide and we'll just drag this over onto this other half again we're going to do text only centered and we'll do 60 point and we're going to say show label borders so you can utilize that right inside the iPad app. So when you go inside the stage display app, you can choose a configuration that you want to use. So maybe you want to have multiple uh, configurations saved for iPhone, iPad, HDTV, your normal back screen, and even maybe on Sundays that you have a band that's a little weaker than some of your other bands, you want the one with your lyrics uh, or your PDF chord chart, so you can save all of these different configurations and use those for the stage display.